Okay, so back in the shop here. What we've got is we've, by offsetting this thing in the lathe, we've created something now that has a larger bowl or dished area down here and it's flat on the top. And what that's going to do is, I'm kind of looking at different lines and things like that because again, this is experimental for me too. This is new for me. But I think by pretty much just cleaving this off here, you give yourself that offset bowl. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to come in here with my axe and I'm just going to start taking this front face out. Slowly but surely here. Staying pretty square to everything. Just taking it off a little at a time here right now. I'm going to need to come at an angle at this thing sooner or later, I think. And I'm going to have to come a ways back here yet. But I'm trying to do that in a fairly slow fashion. And I can control that a little bit by splitting that off or pulling that off with a draw knife. It would give me a lot of control doing that. But I like axe work and I like being able to do things that I need to do with my axe. I think it's a great tool. There we go. Got that piece off I wanted to get off. Yeah. Come in here, you see I've got a line drawn there that I'm kind of working to right here. And that's going to get me down around the pith level. And then I'll go below the pith. To make sure that this thing's not going to bust out on me later. to evaluate things to make sure that what we're getting is what we want. Now I'm about down to where the pith's going to come in here. I used the heel of this axe a lot right in here to get a bite where I want to cut, just like that. And then I kind of move the blade forward as I'm cutting down, like that. And it gives me a really good control with this axe. And this axe is just about my favorite carving axe now. And this is the H&B uh, Forge Camp Axe. But it's got a really nice drop, almost like a beard here. It's got a really nice fat area you can choke up into. The head's not real wide, so you get really, really good up close control on it. Up in here, with that corner just like that, you can really do some fine carving work when you want to. And I just am thoroughly, thoroughly impressed in general with this axe.
getting somewhere now here. Again, slowly but surely. We're going to end up having to go all the way to where this handle transition is. I'm just being careful doing that, that's all. to the edge of our handle transition and when we're done with this spoon we want this thing to kind of sit and come up a little bit so really I need to bring this bowl up a little bit on the back side that's kind of a shame because I'm going to take away some of my work doing that I don't think it was meant to be that way so let me look at this thing for a minute and see if I can evaluate a way to cut this bowl so without eliminating this but I don't really think I can Okay, so what I've decided here is I'm going to go ahead and come up a little bit here. And maybe I could have just removed more material here on the lathe. Again, first time I've ever done it. So it's all an experiment. But I think I need to come up in here. Right in here. Kind of develop that into upward sweep. I got a knot right there. That's not a big deal really. My thickness here versus my thickness here and just trying to keep everything fairly even okay so what I'm thinking here is my center line pretty much is right here and my bowl is going to come back into here for sure like this I think I'm going to keep it fairly wide at the top. Not going to come to too much of a point up there. An artist I am not by any means. This is where spoon templates come in real handy. But I'm being lazy here. And then I need to look at this back side too because I'm not sure I like that shape. I think I would like it better, a little more rounded right there. Kind of like that maybe.
you can get a fairly clean finish with a gouge like this if you understand what angles to use it at which way the grains run and all that good stuff in your bowl but you'll get used to that you'll get a fairly smooth finish just with the gouge Again, it helps to be a little ambidextrous with this stuff and be able to use this thing left or right handed. That makes kind of a difference, but I think you get used to that too over time. And I think that's something that you have to develop right away. You should be able to get this bowl pretty smooth with nothing but this gouge. And again, I think it comes down to the more you work with a tool, the better you get with just using that tool. And I'm getting to the point now with this gouge that I understand how to manipulate it to get exactly what I want. And I can get this bowl to almost where it doesn't need anything. At the most, a cabinet scraper inside of it just with this gouge and not have to worry about sandpaper and it hasn't taken me very long to get to that point so everybody can get to that point fairly fast if you just keep practicing for sure so I've started getting at this thing with my knife now and I haven't even gone down to a carving knife yet I'm using my Pathfinder Scorpion because the thing does a really really good job but I'm almost, that knot is right there, right in the bowl. <laughs> and it's kind of got me a little bit worried, but it's almost disappearing from the backside here as I cut down to it. So I'm just going to kind of see where it ends up. hope that it's not going to leak and if it does I'll seal it with some pine pitch or something in the end but I think it'll be all right when it shrinks up it should take care of itself anyway I would think and this bowl is pretty fat on the back side pretty deep right here compared to what it needs to be and a lot of that is just a function of how far the offset was when I set it up in the lathe. So that's something that's my inexperience not realizing that all that offset was going to cause that bowl to be really deep compared to what it needs to be. And that's not a big deal. It just means I got to remove more wood in the finaling process here from the back of the bowl. But it's a lesson for the next time I stick one of these on the lathe. I know that I don't need that much offset to get good offset in my bowl. I've got a really good offset here right now without even trying and I'm probably gonna have to take I don't know a good quarter of an inch off the back of this thing here to get this bowl down to a reasonable thickness on the back side but that's still gonna give me a ton of offset so that's not a big deal you can see that all right, so this is where we're at so far. I'm going to make my bowl a little bit deeper, I think. So I've got plenty of thickness here, and I can take some more thickness off of the back of this. But I might as well go ahead and make the bowl a little deeper on the back side because I have that depth. And then I'll keep going from there. But I'm pretty happy with the way that turned out for a lathe project, for sure. It's a little chunky, but... It's definitely not going to break. Well, I took the bowl down a little bit further on the spoon now, and I cleaned out the bowl with a little bit of sandpaper and a cabinet scraper, but I haven't touched any of the chip carved portion of the bowl here or any of the lathing 
at all. I even left the poppet mark in the back of it here where the poppet was in it from the lathe. Because I think that's kind of the point of the piece is that it was turned on a lathe. And so it's a good example of, hey, this tool was turned on a lathe versus this tool was carved out with an axe versus this tool, you know, was made with a saw and an axe. So I just thought for sake of looking at it 10 years from now and saying, oh, that was a lathe made tool or that was a lathe made spoon. I think I'm going to leave it as is. So I appreciate you guys joining me for this video today. I thank you for everything you do for our school, for our family, and for our business. For all of our sponsors, instructors, affiliates, and friends, I'm Dave Canterbury with Self-Reliance Outfitters and the Pathfinder School. I'll be back with another video as soon as I can. Thanks, guys.